The BYU football team will be playing a game on Saturday at Arrowhead Stadium versus Missouri, but it's kind of paled a little bit in comparison to what's going on in Missouri. Uh, for anybody who hasn't heard, Missouri players uh, threatened to boycott the game if the, the president did not step down due to some uh, social tensions that were going on out there, and, and that really affected what's going on. The impact of college football seems, and the, um, the, the uh, platform that it, it, it has seems to be growing larger and larger um, yearly and almost weekly. And then as the season goes on, it certainly as playoff intrigue and the, the, the nature of the games becomes more compelling, it seems like the stage or the platform becomes bigger. Uh, I, I think that it's, it's good when people who are different and are uh, discriminated for their differences push for a change. So um, like, like I'll say, as being different myself, like everyone else, it's, it's cool to see um, a change. It's cool to see people group together in a group and uh, be able to push for something that's good. And that's kind of changed the entire tone of, of this particular football game, hasn't it, Darnell? It really has, and we noticed it right away on Monday. There was a lot larger media contingent that came to interview Bronco Mendenhall and the players to get their perspective on things. Initially, you know, Bronco had some great comments. I'm sure you'll cover that in your story later on. But um, the players were kind of like, hey, we're just glad we're playing, and, and we, we don't know all the details of the situation, so we just want to prepare ourselves. I mean, sports are a, a part of, of human society, and, and they, you know, sometimes... Uh, transcend uh, the game. Sometimes it's more than just a game and, and, and different aspects. So it could be an example of that. And um, as also, it, you know, sports are used as a vehicle to get certain messages out there. And so I think that's definitely a case of, of that, of using, you know, sports to, to get a message out there. But as we get closer to the ball game, I think we're going to see a lot of different perspectives around the country and from BYU fans that are making the trip. And it's really going to be an interesting week, I think, as, as the teams prepare for a game in that setting. It's just so unusual and, and so unique. Well, and the, the amount of attention, like you mentioned here, but also nationally, is going to be very different for this game than it would have been for a 7-2 and two BYU team sure. taking on a 4-5 and five Missouri team, even though it was going to be at an NFL venue. So a lot of attention that's going to go into this game. But at the end of the day, this is still going to be a football game. I think all of us crave normalcy. Um, that doesn't mean it's always right. Um, so we're, I think we crave normalcy and just to go on and, and at least we know now what the next opponent is, when we'll play, and, um, and I think that's, that's part of the healing process maybe for everyone. Um, and, and so maybe, maybe it can be a, a starting point for, for healing. So I assume there will be a lot of emotion. Um, and like any rival, you know, against Utah, Utah State, um, any rival that we play, there's always a lot of emotion, and the way we match that is uh, by being aggressive, um, being um, assignment sound, and just doing, not doing anything extra, but doing what we need to do and uh, playing hard, and that's how we're going to play this weekend. I don't think we're going to play too much different than we planned on playing, but uh, we'll definitely match um, their aggression and, and their spirit. Well, BYU faces a challenge not only on the field but also with the off-field distractions when they head to Arrowhead Stadium to take on Missouri. I'll be there in Kansas City to see what happens there at the game. 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time kickoff uh, there at Arrowhead, and we'll see how the Cougars do against the Tigers.